Hello, Internet friends! Let me move the camera over here. Hello, Internet friends! My name is Rich. Thank you so much for joining me today on the Toy Isle Alliance YouTube channel. Want to do a quick horror haul on some uh, scary stuff I picked up uh, fairly recently. It is now September, which to me means um, Halloween season. Some people celebrate Christmas way too early. I celebrate Halloween way too early. And to get me in the spirit of, uh, of the season, here are just a few things I, uh, I picked up that are of a scary nature. Um, first off, I got the uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre Steelbook. I think this is supposed to be a Best Buy exclusive. It was released in the U.S. a while ago. Um, however, here in Canada, it was released in Best Buy um, just this past Tuesday. Uh, however, I also saw this at Sunrise Records, um, but it's cheapest at uh, at Best Buy. I think it was like 18, 19 bucks. Uh, there is the back. It's basically, um, there were the two disc Blu-ray out not too long ago. This is basically one, the main disc from that, that special edition. I just want it because I love Texas Chainsaw Massacre and I love Steelbooks, so... There it is. Very cool. Uh, the other thing I purchased fairly recently is something that I literally wait all year for. And that is the Rue Morgue um, Halloween issue. I love Rue Morgue. It's a Canadian horror magazine. And literally, if you buy one horror magazine this year, it should be Rue Morgue. Um, this, uh, year they have a retrospective on Night of the Living Dead, as you can tell by the cover. Um, if you are any kind of a horror fan, I definitely, definitely, there's the back. It's a little ad for Shudder. Um, if, if you are anything, any kind of horror fan, um, I highly, highly recommend, um, Rue Morgue. Great editorials. That's cool. Whoops, there's a cool, whoops, there's a cool Michael Myers picture in there. Um, if you are any kind of fan of horror, I definitely, definitely recommend Rue Morgue Magazine. And the uh, their Halloween issue is double size. Um, it actually looks good even on a bookshelf. It's so uh, well put together. The final thing we're going to look at is the NECA Ultimate Pennywise. This time, I looked at the one from the uh, the recent uh, theatrical movie. This is from the 90s uh, miniseries. Really, really nice looking figure. Um, now, mine, I can tell right away his foot. What's that? His right foot? His left foot is real janky. If, if you look, they're not very straight, so I'm having a heck of a time... Um, having him stand, so I might have to get the old hair dryer and do that. Otherwise, it is a spectacular looking figure. Great face sculpt. It comes with three alternate heads. Um, so we have a more laughing head, kind of a surprised head, and then a real monstrous acid burned head. Um, also comes with some different hands, and most importantly, his monster hands, which I might have him displayed that way, as well as a bunch of balloons, and they look like a nightmare to get into his hand. So we'll see, we'll see what I do about the balloons. But um, for now, oh, and here is the packaging as well, that classic cover art from the VHS and the DVD for that matter. There is the back of it. And then, there's the inside of it. I can't imagine him holding the balloons that well. So there you go, guys. A, uh, a wondrously horrible horror haul of uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, It, and Rue Morgue. Um, probably my favorite thing, because I love action figures, is this Pennywise. And he will look great with my, uh, my 2017 Pennywise. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I will see ya.